Hello and welcome back to a new video on my channel. This video is about the Skywatcher 150-750PDS Newtonian Telescope. I have been using this telescope over the past few years to capture images of galaxies, nebula and even planets. And in this video I would like to share my experience with this telescope with you. This video is not sponsored and I'm not being paid for it. All products shown in this video were purchased by myself. But now, let's get started. Before we start, I would like to give you a quick overview over this video. I would like to start by introducing the telescope to you, which means I would like to talk about details about the telescope, such as focal length and aperture. So basically all of those details you need to know when buying this telescope. Furthermore, I would like to talk about advantages as well as disadvantages, and I would like to give you my opinion about this telescope. Something that is important to know for you is that all images shown in this video were captured with this telescope. But now I would like to start by introducing the telescope to you. This telescope has a focal length of approximately 750 millimeters. In astrophotography, there are a lot of different objects to photograph. On the one hand, there are those small objects, such as planets, and on the other hand, there are those big objects, such as the Andromeda galaxy, for example. So it's very hard to find a focal length that is suitable for all of those objects. But I have used this telescope for all of those objects over the past few years, and as you can see in the images I'm showing in this video, this telescope is suitable for all of those objects. But don't expect too much when photographing those um, planets, for example. The telescope itself has an aperture of around 150 millimeters, which means that the mirror placed inside has a diameter of 150 millimeters. This results in a focal ratio of around f5.0. In the background, you can see the telescope. In this example, the telescope is mounted on an EQ3 mount. I have attached this telescope to this mount just to show you how it looks. However, for photography and visual observation, I always use my HEQ5 Pro, which has tracking and a go-to system. As I mentioned earlier, this telescope has a focal ratio of around f5.0. This value is very important in astrophotography. A higher focal ratio, such as f15 for example, is not that good for astrophotography because less light reaches the camera sensor. This means that a much longer exposure time is needed. If the telescope has a lower focal ratio, then this is good for astrophotography because more light reaches the sensor. Therefore, this telescope with a focal ratio of around f5.0 is well suited for deep sky astrophotography. I use this telescope in combination with a coma corrector that eliminates coma in the image. Additionally, this coma corrector I use also reduces the focal length, so my focal ratio is actually little below f5.0. As I mentioned before, this telescope is suitable for almost all areas of astrophotography. You can photograph and observe planets, galaxies, nebulae and the moon with it. For planetary observation or photography, I definitely recommend using a coma corrector. In the background you can see that I have attached a guide scope and the ASI Pro to the telescope as well. Now let's talk about the advantages and disadvantages. I've been using this telescope for over two years now and have not found any disadvantages so far. I'm absolutely happy with this telescope. What I particularly like is that this telescope is not that heavy and can therefore be used on small mounts too. I use this telescope on an HEQ5 Pro go-to mount. The focuser is also very helpful as it is a dual speed focuser which makes focusing much easier. To improve the quality of the telescope, I definitely recommend using a coma corrector. In summary, I can only say that this telescope is great for astrophotography. This telescope is suitable for both beginners and astrophotographers who have been doing this hobby for a longer time. In the near future, I will also upload a video about this telescope in which I will use this telescope to photograph a nebula or a galaxy and test this telescope again for you. Feel free to subscribe to my channel so don't miss this video. If you have any further questions, feel free to write them down below in the comments and I'm happy to help. If you found that guide helpful, I would really appreciate a like and a subscription. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and until next time.